Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One channel. Today we're taking our first look at the 2021 Toyota Sienna, the minivan, it's back. Uh, and I'm joined today by MotorOne.com senior editor, Jeff Perez. Jeff, thank you again for being with me for this. Oh, of course, it's great to be back. <laughs> we're just talking Toyotas today. We um, really are. <laughs> the Sienna is one of two new vehicles that Toyota launched, quote unquote, or at least told the world about today. So let's get into it right away with this one. Um, I have to say it looks good. That's a you know, really crazy opinion right there, right off the top. It looks really thoughts? good. I think the Pacifica is still maybe the, the cleaner looking of the two, but I like Toyota's approach here that they went really wild with it. Obviously it has the big grill because it wouldn't be a Toyota if it didn't. Uh, it has some really nice headlights. It's got some good body lines. Overall, I think it looks really nice. Do you, did you have a favorite minivan design prior to this? And is this your new favorite? Um, I would say it is my new favorite. If we're not talking about, you know, Japanese luxury minivans, I think this is this is the one to beat now in the U.S. The Pacifica is, like I said, it's, it's always been clean. It's always been nice. But I think Toyota made a good choice here by going bold. Uh, I think it looks really good, especially in the XSE trim. So... You were excited about the wheels. I know you wanted to talk specifically about the wheels. Yes, it's the first Toyota minivan with 20 inch wheels, if you get the XSC trim. Wow. 20 um, inch wheels on a minivan. 20 inch wheels on a minivan. I, I do yeah. concede it doesn't look bad. Um, I think the, the new facelifted Pacifica looks pretty good and the Honda Odyssey is old at this point, but it's not terrible. Um, but there's a lot more to go over than just the exterior design of this thing. Although I have to say like that is one of the headlines, but the real headline here, and this is something where it's probably going to be a new trend for a Toyota is that the Sienna is now hybrid only. So now we're talking a 243 horsepower, uh, four cylinder hybrid setup and Toyota estimates that this is going to do 33 MPG combined. Yeah. Jeff, let me tell you why that's significant. <laughs> the Chrysler Pacifica, which is a plug-in hybrid minivan, only does 30 MPG combined. Yep. And the regular gas Pacifica does 22 combined. So Toyota's beating both of them with just a hybrid setup, which is the most Toyota thing ever. Yeah, I mean, Toyota's mastered the hybrid. Like, it, like we said, just the Prius is you know, one of the best hybrids ever. So why not just take that same powertrain and put it into a minivan and just beat the current best MPG minivan, which is the Pacifica. And you don't even need to make it a, a plug-in, which is just an unnecessary step. So that's it. The, the, the Sienna is better, you know, than, than pretty much anything in terms of fuel economy. RAV4 Prime, the plug-in is on its way. So I guess I wouldn't rule out a Sienna Prime at some point, if that's the direction they're going? Yeah, that's true. Uh, we shouldn't rule it out, but I mean, 33 MPG already. I, I don't know how much better you really can or need to get at this point. In a minivan where you can haul around your entire family. Um, let's look at some of the interior highlights. We'll talk design in just a second, but I want to throw out just some of the things I wrote down. Seven USBs, 18 cup holders are available because absolutely. Uh, there is a vacuum, which Honda Vac, we got to admit, that's where the trend started and now all the minivans are incorporating it. There's an available refrigerator because why not? And then my favorite, actually our favorite, I should say, is the shut up speaker from the front row to the third row where yeah. you can amplify your voice with a microphone as a driver uh, and basically tell your kids in the third row that they need to quiet down. Yeah, exactly. I mean, all the same stuff that we loved from the previous model just carries over. And 18 cup holders, is that the best you can buy right now? Or I was trying to think. I should have looked it up with a cent, but I think Super Cent, cent is cent had a lot. But I, I don't know if it was 18 or 17 or something like that, but it's got to be up there. It's. I mean, I can't do math right now because I haven't practiced math in a long time, but I mean, that's, that's multiple drinks per person. And yeah. It's excess, but these are what American minivans, the American market minivans are all about. Um, we have a nine inch infotainment system and a standard 10 inch head up display. I think it's cool that it comes standard on the minivan. Yeah, I don't really know what it's for, but it's nice to have it. <laughs> it's color. Does that do anything yeah, for you? That helps, I guess. 
I'm sure it reads up a lot of useful information without having to, you know, dig through the, the infotainment screen or yeah. mess, up, mess with the digital instrument cluster. And telling you how to drive slower or more economically, et cetera. Yeah. Um, it is worth pointing out that you cannot get the 12.3 inch infotainment display that you can get in the, Hi uh, the Highlander. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. the smaller unit in the RAV4. Yeah, um, it's a good unit. I, I, I think the bigger one is obviously the better one. Um, and it it has the new Entune uh, infotainment setup, but I think the nine inch screen is pretty good. I mean, from what we've tested in the RAV4, we, we really didn't have any issues with it. Um, any other things you wanna point out from a design perspective with the interior? I know you were talking about the seats a little earlier. Yeah, so, so on the XSE model, you get these neat two-tone, I think they call it um, Primatex or whatever their terminology for fake leather is. It's called not leather. It's, but yeah, not leather, soft tex, excuse me. Um, yeah, so the neat two-tone seats, um, which I think is just a nice touch, especially if you're gonna get the sporty XSE model, sure. you get the big 20 inch wheels, you get the big blacked out grill, the fake leather seats. I think it's cool if you wanna be like a cool, you know, mom or dad and not have to drive around a, a boring looking minivan, this is the one to get. This is the way to do it. Um, anything else you wanna go over with the Sienna? This is a very early first look at it. Obviously the car is still a little ways off and it'll be a while for before we can drive in and compare it to other minivans in the class as well. Yeah, I'm curious to see how it drives. I mean, it's got the brand new TNGA platform underneath, totally rebuilt from the ground up, great powertrain um, from what we know, from what we've seen in right. previous models. So I think it's it should be a home run based on all the, the things that we're looking at here. I agree. Jeff Perez, it's always fun to talk minivans with you. Yeah, of course. And thanks everybody for joining us for our first look at the 2021 Toyota Sienna.